and welcome to another episode of Explore with Self and Seymour and this week we are off on our adventures to France to the Vendée region we oui. très bon it's good isn't it good French <laughs> traveling to San Malu or San Malo, whatever is a preference. San Malu. Yes, that one. Um, yes, so those eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that we are not in the van today. We are in fact in a car. Yes. yes. And why are we in a car, Kieran? Because we haven't got the van. We're scared the van might not actually make it to France as well. Bless him. Yeah. Alan. Just looking at the little ramp up the ferry. Bless Alan. I don't think it would make it up mm. that ramp. So no, we are not going in the van to France, but we don't need the van in France either, do we? No, we have a, a little place uh, in uh, Saint Etienne de Bois, which is sort of just down from Nantes. Yeah, it's about forty five minutes. Léger. Yeah, forty five minutes down from Nantes. So it's sort of is it mid west, northwest? Northwest down from Normandy. Yeah, down and then Vendée and then the Loire Atlantique. Oui. Um, yes. So when when Kieran says place, it is yeah, not, not a place with bricks. It no. is uh, what we would commonly call a static. Uh, yes, a static caravan on a municipal site in France. My father lives over there. Uh, has done for ten years now, I think. Oh, no, more than that, isn't it? Is it 14, more like twelve? No. Anyway, it yeah, yeah, ten or more years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably not sixteen. Somewhere. Somewhere between 10 and 16. <laughs> yeah. A while. Yes. I, he's lived out there a while. Look, hopefully you won't take us to task <laughs> on how many years my father's lived in France. But he they does live know. in France. They don't they know. They don't know. No. Um, so on the municipal sites, there are a certain amount of um, emplacements that are, some are permanent, some are semi-permanent, and some are, you know, as in camping, camper vanning, general campsite -y type things. So my dad lives on a permanent site. Uh, emplacement and then we have a static caravan that we share with my brother and yep. his family share the cost of so we're able to kind of pop over um i think if we wanted to we could pretty oh, much yeah. well i suppose not with the brexit it's 90 days now mm. isn't it that you can only be over there 90 days not that we would ever be able to do that no but yeah, so we tend to go over at Easter and in the summer, and then my brother goes over also in the summer. So we, we often have a few days where we are there together. And then, so we split the summer holidays um, and then they go in October half term yeah. generally. And in um, in the summer, every all the facilities on the site are open, but in early Easter time as we're going now, um, there's no shower block open and there's no there is a swimming pool there but that's not open and the same again then in the autumn yeah so we're going there luckily we're all self-contained in the sort of static yeah because the site itself doesn't open to overnights um until it's usually after easter which is yeah. weird isn't it because in the uk our campsites generally start to open for easter but they open after easter it tends to be may that their sites kind of open to um yeah fully so yes so we are heading over there um overnight now uh portsmouth to samalu so we should arrive in samalu about quarter past six in the morning yeah something like that yes so uh, we thought we'd take you with us um metaphorically of course not, not not literally literally because we wouldn't be able to afford that and and you wouldn't all fit in the car 
people, 10 to 20 of you. Yeah. Who, uh, it might be 20 more now. subscribers. Might be knows? more by now. Maybe. Maybe. So, yes, um, we shall catch up with you in a little while. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, indeed. And now in France. Yes, well, so we're just... On the ferry. On the car deck, waiting to be disembarked. Um, quite a rough crossing, isn't it? Oh, up and down. Yeah. Luckily, we had a nice cabin. Yes. So that was nice. Bands, thoroughly recommend bands, seasickness bands. You don't use them, do you? No. I do have the chalky... The seasickness uh, tablets. tablets, yeah, yes. they seem to do the trick. Yep. But yeah, so we're just waiting to be let off and um, off to go down to saint du Bois, which is about two and a half hours down. From Saint Marlo, yeah, yeah. Cool. conversation before we came on weren't we on the ferry of how many years you have lived out here now because we couldn't remember we couldn't remember we thought it was somewhere between 10 and 16 so how many years is it well yes practically two. spot on is it yeah 15 two. years well 2000 september 2009 yes yeah, so it's 15 years this september coming the 16th 16th of september <laughs> we are right here in this one in this no, that's, no, that was in Grand Lons. No. Okay, <clears throat> down the road. Yeah, and then um, we moved here. We moved here in 2010, the next, right. the following yeah. year. Because I think w when we came to visit you in 2010, you were just having the terrace yeah. done and stuff. When yeah, you, so you that's hadn't right, been here yeah, long. you were that's here. Right. We yeah. had to climb out through this window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thing, that's right, because you could yeah. come through the front door. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So has it flown by? Oh, I should say. Yeah. My goodness, where's yeah. it gone? Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, it's amazing. 
Yeah, true. It was true. just a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got to replace the deck in now. It's yeah. rotten. See, there we go. So we'll have to come around through the back window. Yeah. Back window again. <laughs> Excellent. Good, there we are. We have concluded that issue. Good morning. So we're here in Saint Etienne du Bois um, and we're just going to have a little mosey up to the village. We're very late, so everything's probably shut. It's all right. It's nice to have a relax. I know, I know. But yes, yeah, so we'll wander up through the village to the boulangerie in the shop, which will no doubt be closed. <laughs> um, but yeah. We, Guess it's, us out. <laughs> it's quite showery, so it's quite nice. There's a dry gap in the day, so we'll have Ooh, a little wander look, up there. There's what? a red squirrel. What? Yeah. Hang on a second. Stay there. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Okay, then. That tree there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh look, there he is up there. Oh no. That's a bird. That's a bird. <laughs> He's completely red body and a dark one. Oh, there he is! Oh, he's make sure the phone doesn't fall. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are travelling back up. We are doing Carn to Portsmouth on the way back on the ferry and overnight, which we don't normally do. We normally travel during the day, but we've gone overnight this time for a change. Crazy. Just for a change. So since we've got the whole day, we have decided to come and have a look at uh, Le Mont Saint-Michel. 
Um, so we've arrived in the car park. We're having a bit of lunch. It's quite cold outside. It's very windy outside, so we mm. decided to have a bit of a picnic in the car. So we've got our, our baguettes. Mm. Um, but we stopped at the services on the way. I think I will have put the footage. Yes, it'll be there. It'll be Excellent. So, such brilliant coffee machines. Beans to cup. Like beans to cup in the ser Now, I like a service station, but that was spectacular. <laughs> um, we, very I, I clean, wasn't it? Very clean. Very clean. Oh. Very clean. Haven't seen those machines before, and we've been doing this route a while. Mm. I think they're new machines. And they were like €2.20. For a nice coffee. For a good coffee. Yeah. Um, so the technology exists. Why don't we have it in the UK? That's my question. Back home now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, got the ferry back from Cannes, um, and on the way there, we stopped off in Mont Saint Michel. Yep. First time we'd ever been there, so that was lovely. Yeah, because when you're going to Cannes, it's sort of not far from no. where we were. So yeah, it was about a 15, 20 minutes diversion yeah. really. And then because we still had some more time before the ferry was going to sail, we thought, oh, let's stop off somewhere else, and chose Bayeux, which is literally. Well, about half an hour from Khan where we were sailing from and had a lovely walk around there mm. it was a very beautiful medieval city mm. didn't see the tapestry because the yeah. place was shut yeah because we were our ferry was supposed to be half past 11 at night the sailing so you don't need to check in till about quarter past 10 so we thought we'll go to Bayeux have some dinner which we did which yes, was very lovely yeah, it was very lovely found a very lovely place yeah um, but we did just left after we had refused dessert, coffee. No dessert and coffee no, for us. No, we don't have time. No, we've got to get back on the blimpy Yes, boat. but as we left, we had a message saying, "Oh, Soz, the ferry would be delayed by an hour and forty-five minutes." So, bit of a annoyance, but it was fine. So yes. by the time we got there, and then we had a, a, a coffee or whatever at the ferry side, and had a bit of a snooze, had a bit of a read. Um, and then it was on to the boat, so just a quick glass of red wine and off to bed, really. Yeah, yeah. To we knew uh, the alarm was happening for the morning. No karaoke or anything. Pierre Le Bear was up. Pierre Le Bear was up, and he did wave at us though. So that, that was, was very nice. late for Pierre Le Bear. Pierre Le Bear shouldn't be up that late. No. That was half past eleven plus. No, I know. Well, midnight by the time we've gone. Midnight. Outrageous. Mm. Um, so yes, yeah, so we'll probably do a little bit of a roundup, not particularly of the campsite where we stayed, as you know. That's where we always go each summer because that's where my dad and stepmom are but yeah the Vendee and the Loire Atlantique area in general I think is a bit undiscovered we very rarely hear British or English no. uh, voices do we English being spoken but then where we are is out of the way it's quite rural it's very quiet but that's what we like yes for holidays no we like it quiet place. yeah so i think the area in general the only time we ever hear english being spoken really is when we head more towards the coast in saint gilles Gilles, Croix de vie yeah. as you saw um but yeah but our campsite is quite quiet it's a, um, a municipal site as i say and i'll show some pictures now but i think if we kind of consider what council run campsites would be like in the uk we might kind of think that they were a bit 
all right whereas the municipal the the, the campsites that are over there are extremely well run yeah, really yeah, yeah. because they have i guess they have um an immense amount of backup in the, the council that come and tend the gardens and fix anything etc so you know in each um uh in, in each department uh it's quite well run in that respect so we have the Gites de france in one area of the site and then as you come through hopefully you'll see in the pictures we have the permanent and semi-permanent emplacement um, and then as you go through the site you've got the the pitches the emplacement for overnight stays or you know the general touristy stays um, and they're, they're secluded as in they have kind of hedges all around yeah, so yeah. they're very separate and a lot of the and plenty of room as well yeah they're not small little spaces yeah they don't pack you in there no. um, and it's all quite simple to get into because you can pay for everything on the barrier when you go in mm. um, so you know you haven't got to kind of book ahead it never really gets packed etc no. but I think a lot of the municipal sites in the 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 areas that are away from the typical tourist tracks are, yeah. are like that so, Maybe yeah. for a quieter place just so we can switch off really on holiday yeah and we've never really been one for bars and clubhouses and entertainment mm. so it's very much a family site. There's a little park and a swimming pool, and a lot of them have that, don't they? Yeah, and there's loads of walks nearby and loads of cycle tracks. Um, it's about a couple of minutes walk up to the up to the well town as it is, which is basically a, a shop. Uh, so there's a nice little trudge up to get a baguette in the morning and some croissants. Mm -hmm. um, and there's loads of wildlife around. Yeah. Um, as you see, this is red squirrel, um, <laughs> and uh, there's woodpeckers and lots of different sorts of birds in the area yeah. as well. So it's just nice to watch the world go by and just chill out. Yeah. Really. And like I say, so the Vendée region is is very rural. It's very much like Pembrokeshire. It's a very agricultural area. Yeah. Um, and then it's about half an hour where we are, about half an hour to the coast, coast. and that does start to get a little bit busier. Um, but still, at Saint-Gilles, in the height of summer, there's not that many, not that much English being spoken. No, I don't think the British tend to go there, really. Maybe more in Brittany, um, yeah. but not, well, hardly, well, about an hour further down from, yeah. couple of hours from Brittany. And maybe that's the point, isn't it, is that people do Brittany and Normandy, maybe not so much the middle mm, bit, mm. and then kind of head down. If they're heading down, they'll head down towards the coast. But we were surprised when we went to Bayeux, how much English and American yeah. English is being spoken. Obviously, it's part of the kind of... Uh, D-Day beaches and yeah. all of that stuff. But yeah, I, we've heard very little French being spoken, actually, with people mm, out on the streets. Right. And where we were in the restaurant, yeah, everything, everybody English. eating around us yeah. was, was English or American. Mm. So that was curious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's a bit of an undiscovered place. Yeah. If, and you're it's... Chill, if your idea is to chill on holiday. And it's very peaceful, and as long as you like not doing much, apart from eating, drinking, and various other things, then, um, hmm. you know. I mean, I tend to, I have a goal when we go on a holiday to try and read as many books as possible. Not in a speedy way, okay. in an enjoyable way. So what did you read? Oh yes, what did I read? Yes. So uh, this, um, uh, Barbara Kingsolver's Demon Copperfield which, not Copperfield, Copperhead, but it's based on Charles Dickens' David Copperfield. Mm. It takes the same structure and it's about sort of uh, uh, a boy going through uh, a terrible time in uh, Virginia, growing up in poverty, um, rather like Dickens was using David Copperfield in, in well, over a hundred years ago, but still... Uh, still very relevant today and transposed to the sort of the opioid academic um, academic epidemic in America as uh, our young hero sort of from about 10 11 onwards gets battered around into different foster homes tries to find his way through and becomes addicted to drugs um, Don't give it away but yeah but if you've read David Copperfield you sort of okay. know the gist Fair. but yes it's very good very moving very well written, a real page turner, and uh, despite it being over 500 pages, <laughs> I got it done in, in a week or so. But I just yes. read about two pages and I fall asleep, yeah. that's the problem. No, that's Maybe that's what you should do, you should have like a regular book slot. What, Kieran's book slot? What's Kieran read this Kieran's, trip? Kieran's cabin. <laughs> Kieran's book cabin. Yeah, that would something, be nice. Something with the literature... Uh, 
With alliterative. 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 Is that the right word? So if we were going for, if it was like five stars was the best Oh, five stars. Ever written. I'd say this is about four and a half. Is it? Yeah, it's very good. Wow, okay. It's very moving as well and uh, really well drawn characters that you get really immersed in and you just want to know what happens to them even after the book's finished. Um, mm. But yes. That's good. So, yeah, it's good. It's we'll have to good. do that then. Mm. So we'll do the roundup of the site in the area. So Vondi, yes, nice and quiet, chill. Um, ferries, all fabulous. We like an overnight ferry, don't we? We like a cabin as well. Yeah, because then you just sleep in. Although yeah. if you were, if we were on a day sailing, which we yes. mostly do on the way back, you would be reading then. Wouldn't you? I would be reading. And I tend to knit, so I'm knitting a jumper at the moment. Yeah. Maybe we'll go into detail about that next time. Okay. Yeah. Super fun. <laughs> no, but knitting is super fun. It is actually. But we're, you know, very relaxing re actually. Reading's not the most you know interesting thing to film. Knitting's far more interesting to film. But when I knit, I can also have conversation. Mm. I can't talk and read. No, so that's too hard. Mm. Mm. I yeah. can talk and do a jigsaw. Yes, that is true. Okay. So that's that's good. I, it's, it's, we sound really sexy, don't we? Very Jigsaws, exciting. reading. Jigsaws, knitting, reading, reading, and not speaking to people speaking is generally people. our idea of a fantastic oh, yeah, holiday. Sounds good. <laughs> Obviously, there's wine and cheese involved as well at various points. But yes. Okay, super. So I think we'll probably have bored you enough about France, but we'll be going again in the summer. So maybe we'll go to some more places. Yeah, some there was quite places. a lot that wasn't open. We wanted to take you to Apremont. There's like a, mm -hmm. a chateau and a lake, and that was having some work done on it. And it was quite wet weather, so we didn't really get out and about as much as we'd like. But maybe no. we'll do that when we revisit in the summer. We did manage to go out for a run, though, didn't we? We did. But we it was, did. That was the only warm day, in fact, I think. Yeah, it was, was baking. It's really we were exhausted. <laughs> God. Mm. Anyway, so um, that is the end of that one. C'est fini. C'est fini, oui. Yeah. And we'll catch up with you soon. Yeah. Thanks Au for watching. Bye.